So this is uh, what are we? What is this? Exciting, Java? Was that Java the Hut? Is this exciting? A new podcast? Not this is a uh, uh, part. I guess we could, could we call it our spinoff podcast that cannot be named. Or is but that, it's going to be part of the Lobo podcast? Which is it's going to be released now. Yeah. It's a special episode because we just want to talk about the movie Dune, which just came out this week. Um, HBO Max on HBO theaters. Max in the theaters, but the three of us all saw it on HBO Max because. Why pay for HBO Max if you're not going to see all their movies that they have to offer? Um, so I think we just want to do a quick kind of review of just it. let everybody know what we what how we felt what we thought you know um, for our uh, eleven listeners out there that but I think a lot we have of, already texted with a lot of podcasts dr- how we get, feel about Dune but that's uh, a lot of podcasts get a lot of extra traffic when they pedal in new movies that just came out so here we go pedaling yeah. Um, I, I'll start off by saying uh, overall, I thought it looked absolutely stunning. Great looking movie for sure. Um, what, what's your, ex, what's your history of Dune? Did you read any of the books? That's a little personal. Don't you think? Did you read any of the books? <laughs> I did not read the books, but I you saw the David Lynch I did watch the David version? Lynch uh, movie. Um, I had the first book and I think I just remember looking at it and just not <laughs> wanting cool to cover, not getting to, st- not wanting to start it. It just seemed like. It was a task, like a chore, and I didn't want to. Yeah, I saw the. You know, Dave, I was a lot younger then. I saw the David Lynch movie. I believe I read the first three books. How many total are there? Well, that's a. There's like six. Twenty. There's something. six that Frank Herbert wrote. Isn't it but, Frank Herbay? Herbert. <laughs> He's American. It's Herbert. <laughs> I was doing the uh, uh, George Costanza. There, there, I think he wrote six, and then his kid and Kevin J. Anderson, who was like a Star Wars guy for years, right? They they've written like. A hundred. I was actually looking at it this morning. There are like so many Doom books, and but like his son wrote him while his dad was still alive. No, was he still no, involved no, no. In when his dad was no, alive. No, no, or no, no, no. They found notes, which means they didn't find shit. They just were like, "We're we're gonna make more. We're gonna books. put this together." This, this what about you, like, Brian? What, I read the book. I read the Dune, the first book, right? And then I saw. I've seen the David Lynch one a bunch of times, and then I watched the Children of Dune miniseries. I watched like the first episode of that, and I was just kind of like. When did that air? I don't. I, like I don't that. remember watching. Early two thousands, right? Yeah. I don't think I ever watched that. It was, it was Sci Fi Channel, and it had Sci Fi special effects for at the time, yeah. so eh, it was fine. But um, this movie was amazing. I thought. I mean, this was a five out of five for starring it, and it was definitely a thumbs up. I I was um, a little worried at the beginning because it doesn't start off like the book. I was. Like yeah, what what are we doing here? Why aren't we already with you? Don't see Paul the yeah, main Gardy character or away from the book. It's like, yeah. uh, is this going to be like a not a faithful interpretation? But it it's it is, but it's not in the order that the book is in. So I just I thought it was great. I thought the special effects, the the the, the way the planets look now, man. Oh, <sighs> insane. Uh, like if you make a movie or a TV show and it doesn't look good, you did not try hard enough yeah. because <laughs> it's amazing how like between this and Foundation, which is on Apple TV now, man, that, these shows I seen that look yet, but that looks uh, great too. Yeah, amazing man, it's so it looks so good. So just based on that, the casting was great. Um, yeah, I thought uh, casting was really done well. Um, what was that Oscar Isaac? Yeah, um, he's he's his dad. Timothy uh, Chalamet, Chalamet, who I don't really know him, but. He He's playing a, uh, the new uh, Willy Wonka oh, in the Wonka, Wonka pre. Who was asking guess, for that? I don't know. Were you asking for that, Brian? I, no, I wasn't. I love the original Willy Wonka with sure, Gene that's Wilder. It. Ended and, there. Um, the Johnny Depp one. I was saying Johnny Depp one sucked, but uh, they released something really uh, just recently. Uh, Timothy Chalamet in like the clothing as Wonka, and no one's watching that. I'm telling you right now, no a, one's it watching that. It didn't get that. a good reception. Nah, from, uh, no one cares. Like Wonka's retiring. Timothy Chalamet's like, like a kid. Well, it's supposed to be the prequel where him uh, is a, yeah, how, how he became who he was, I guess. Nobody cares. That's a terrible idea. I, I'd rather watch the original Wonka sure. again. And that's yeah. all I would watch. I would yeah. never watch any of these other versions. I would just watch the original That movie is 1971. Man, does that hold up. 72. I mean, it looks like it looks old, but it's still It looks old, but then when they fun. open up t- into that chocolate room, I mean, yeah. that's just for for 50, the chocolate man, river alone is just <laughs> 50 years ago? Yeah, I want, to say, I want to say it was 72, maybe, so it's coming up uh, on its 50th Is this going to be new material, or is there a book that it's based off of? I don't know. If well, there's, he wrote, Raul Dahl wrote 
Charlie and Chocolate Factory and wrote The Great Glass Elevator. That was the sequel. But the, I don't know if there's a I prequel. Think yeah. I, don't, I think that's it. Anyway, Dune. Um, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That's fine. But Jason Momoa. I was Jason Momoa, who, man, that is the perfect amount of Jason Momoa. Like He's like the eighth eighth build. He doesn't have to do a lot. He just Comes has to kind of look kick ass. He just has bit, to yeah. kind of look cool and yeah, kick some ass and not say a lot. He's Cal Drogo without a <laughs> without a Dothraki accent. That's all he yeah. is, and that's all he ever should be. I mean, Aquaman is one of the worst pieces of shit I've ever sat through, and fifty percent of it's because of him. The other fifty percent is because of how awful it looks. But oh my god, that movie that, pissed yeah. me off so much and. I would have rather they made him look like the uh, old Mego characters, you know, where he's like orange. Oh, of course, with the green and, tights, and yeah. he's riding the seahorse. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. That, but, that's the Aquaman I want to see. Jason Momoa <laughs> is he is a poor man's whatever rock or what, whoever else he's trying to be like. Or I'd say Dave Bautista is better than him. Oh, and, I forgot Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista yeah. is hardly in this movie, but but he, again, um, good casting. Yeah, very good casting. And Stella Skarsgård is uh, the Baron. Any of those Skarsgård, I like a they're, lot of those guys. All, yeah. yeah, it's a family of actors. I guess yeah. they all got it down. And uh, Rebecca Ferguson is Jessica. She was great. I like the uh, Zendaya. Yeah, I mean, she was barely in it, but that's fine. But that, like you said, a lot of these people were. All, that's all they needed to be in it. Yeah, because I mean, spoiler: they say right at the beginning, "This is Doom Part One." Even though, from what I've heard, they haven't actually filmed part two. Like, it's part two is not a guarantee. See, so that, that would really, that I don't like. That would really suck if like, this to was to think it. that this was put out and they're like, you know what, we're going, we're going to go in a different direction. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much money this has to make to have another one come out because with the HBO Max, with that taken that's away, that's what I'm saying. A lot but then last office. week, last week on Peacock was when uh, the Halloween movie came out, and that made a ridiculous, I think, fifty some million dollars. In the theaters alone. But how much money does a Halloween money have to make to make its money back? But that's what I'm saying. I think it made a good amount. So I might I wonder how so people are going how many the people theaters. have gone to the theater for Dune. Well hundred percent of people here. Connor are going tomorrow. Are they going? Good. Yeah. Good. I wanted to go. No one else wanted to go with me, so I watched it here. I and then I was like because I was gonna come here and watch it on Friday, but then it got released Thursday, so I was like, Oh, so watch you couldn't it wait. I was excited. <laughs> You're a dick, man. Like we had fun watching it here. I know. I would have had fun too. I'm sorry. I just watched it Thursday night. I was just I was anxious. I I know I'm a little I'm a little kid. I couldn't even see my Christmas presents till Christmas morning. But yeah, Dune was uh it was all good. The plot Chucky can't um, even walk now. <laughs> <laughs> the plot was uh man, it's been so long since I've read the book, I kinda forget like I know how it ends, I know what happens, but was it did the movie end like at the halfway point of the book, do you remember? Like it ended at a perfect spot as far as the movie went. Like I thought it, this is a good good time to stop because it didn't feel like two hours and forty five minutes no, or something a, like that. A lot of time has to pass now. Yes, right. So, so that that's why it was a good time to stop right now. But I forgot Josh Brolin was in it. Josh Brolin was good. Oh wow, yeah. Um, big cast. Big cast. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know what more else to say about it than it was very good. And I I hope there's a part two. Is it? Um, how soon would you rewatch it? Like, is it one that you would want to? If I didn't have to uh, right away, do or... a different podcast with a different <laughs> thing, I would have probably rewatched it today. But I had to watch Love Boat. For so you would have watched it again today if you didn't have any by like, myself, yeah, yeah. without people talking, because there was a lot of chatter in my theater. That was another yesterday. reason I didn't want. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there was a lot of chatter yesterday, but it was all good. Um, but I, I'm going to rewatch it soon. So. Probably, probably not tomorrow, but I think maybe um, next weekend. I think we should do a lot more little mini episodes like this. I think this is something that could catch on a little bit too. We can, it's like we can put this right out. You don't have to edit it. No one's gonna curse. Well, we could do I'm like you know, like the curse could, by accident. I don't think we something. did this. No, one. I haven't heard any fucks or cunts. Or... <laughs> <laughs> There's the e. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying not to, and then Brian has to be all foul. He's a big foul. He's a big. He's a big dumb kid, folks. Uh, he's our ox. <laughs> he's our ox. I that wish, makes no sense I, I here. I, I, well, I guess no. It is the exciting a new podcast that's coming out under under that umbrella. Yeah, so. but they won't have seen this. Uh, Listen to the uh, exciting new episode by the time ah, we release right. this. That's right. This is coming out now. Yeah. So, um, no, I, I I think we should do what random things. It doesn't have to necessarily be a movie that came out. It just could be like, hey, I want to talk about this this week, or you know, what? like, and not drag it on. 
Yeah, that's why some, I was like, I, I wanted to do a half hour on Doom, but I did ten minutes, and it's like, <laughs> I, I I got nothing else to say. I mean, I don't want to get into no, any I mean, plot we, detail. We're not going to spoil. I don't want to spoil it. I just want to say too, how much you know? I liked it. I think it's well worth it. Um, even my wife, who is like, I mean, did she, she watch the original? I mean, she is a trooper. She puts up with a ton of shit being married to me, like having to sit through every Marvel movie and every Star Wars movie and this and that. And I mean, luckily she gets into it. And, and yeah. sometimes there's things where I'm like, listen, I am telling you right now, you are not going to like this. And I said that about Dune. I was like, you are not going to like this because you don't know what a Bene Jesuit is or a, um, uh, a Gom Jabbar or anything like that. You're not going to like it. I'm like, they're going to have to explain all these terms to you and you're going to just sit there being like, nope, not nope, remembering nope. it, not remembering but, it. Uh, yeah. I believe she liked it. I don't think she loved it. Like she's not going to watch it again unless I'm watching and she happens to watch it. But she in. would. But she would probably watch the sequel. She will definitely watch the sequel. I think yeah. she liked it enough. And again, she likes all those cast members too. There's a lot of people in oh, there. Oh, the Momoa's and, like, and stuff Momoa like that, yeah. and, and Josh Brolin and Zendaya. She's he was like, a oh, goonie. Know. Well, and uh, he was uh, Andy's he was Andy's boyfriend, right? Andy's boyfriend Andy for a little while. Goonie. Then she started dating Troy. That's a whole. That's a whole, <laughs> that's a whole story. thing. Someday I'll watch Goonies all the way through. That's when I, you've never watched it all the way through, right? I've that, never that's, sat and watched Goonies from That's going to go end. on our other podcast. I've, I've watched all of it here and there. The podcast that cannot be named would do a Goonies one. Yeah. So I remember watching that in the theater. I don't even need to re, I don't even, need, I did too. I don't even need to watch that one again to, uh, to discuss that one. So <laughs> that'll be fun. Maybe we can get, uh, Data to join us. He's not doing anything, right? Just Comic Cons and stuff like that. Chunk is a lawyer. Did you know that? I, I think, We've talked about that, haven't we? Yeah, Chunk is a lawyer. He's a and he's a uh, entertainment lawyer for like a bunch of uh, comedians and actors and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Right. Um, but do you want to wrap this one up then, or I know you said did you? Want yeah, to I'm. Going? I mean, I'm good. Go watch Dune. Support it. Go to um, the theater and watch it. I didn't go to the theater and watch it and support it in the theater. I so also can... recommend seeing it. I enjoyed it. It's a fun ride, and uh, I'm looking forward to more. I hope there's more. Yeah, Brian. It, yeah, there better be more. Because I definitely want to see the part two is going to be insane. Yeah, and I hope they, if part two is successful, I hope they. Like I remember liking the other books, but it's been, oh man, it's been so. Are you going to try and reread the books? I might reread the six Frank Herbert books. That's it. I yeah. am never going to read anything that like has his kid's name on it or something like that. Because I've also like kind of like skimmed Wikipedia pages and yeah, it's not it's not necessary. None of it's necessary. It's all filler. Are the rumors true that the sequel is going to be Dune 2 Electric Boogaloo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. I don't even know how to react to that. <laughs> I couldn't get that, but I'm t- I thought I would No, be- that was oh. a definitely a wah wah. <laughs> Go see Dune. Dune it up. Now Andy can go watch Ted Lasso on SNL. <laughs>